The Liebeck LX EPID pedestal is now ready for shipping. This is a Synity Gear News video supported by B&H and CVP. Hi, I'm Johnny from Synity and I'm here with Koichi san from Liebeck. Koichi san, how are you? Good, thank you. Long time no seen. Actually, last time I saw you was in November yes. in Japan yes. when you demonstrated the, this device here, the LX EPED. Yes. What is it? Please remind me. Uh, LX EPED is a, um, a special pedestal just for PTZs. And uh, we believe that it's a world first to um, actually be developed just for PTZs. So it's a special product that we have. When I saw this device, this pedestal in November, it was still a prototype. What has changed from the prototype stage to the current uh, product that you're about to start selling? There's three points. One is that uh, the speed is changeable now with this uh, locker. Um, so um, the speed is from low to high. It's a uh, variable speed. You talk about the speed of uh, elevating? Exactly, yes. So that's one thing. And then the second is that uh, we had a lot of um, uh, comments from our users, um, uh, current users for other products that we should have something for a V-mount battery when there's no AC outlet outside. So we made an optional uh, kit that can uh, be operated. This product could be operated with a V-mount battery. This is really great. Yeah. Are you going to keep it only V-mount or also gold, gold mount or uh, B-mount in the future? I don't know. Uh, V-mount at the moment, but maybe gold mount in the, in the future. And the third point is that people wanted to have this product maybe in live uh, situation as well. So they wanted to have the camera stopped um, elevating in a really smooth way, not like stop like this, but like smoothly stop. So that's the third thing that we changed in the product. This is very clever, really. This is the same like with sliders. When you slide, you don't want the camera just to stop, hard, hard stop. How do you implement something like this? Is a, it's a software solution or it's a hardware solution? Right, it's a software solution, yes. yes. So um, we kind of explained everything, but um, it's the software uh, controls a stopping motion so that it won't be like a really sharp stop. Yeah. Since you're showing all of those improvements, and it's really, it's fascinating to see how from the prototype stage to the final product, it's, it's really, it's, it's, it's a one level, at least one level up. For example, the way you control this right now is only with this controller, which is wired. Are you also gonna consider doing a wireless connection, like uh, something that you can call, control the, uh, the pedestal wirelessly? That is a good question. Um, we considered uh, Bluetooth and wire, uh, Wi-Fi, but um, we heard that there's a lot of uh, interference when we use that. So we thought that we stick to um, wired uh, since PTTs are uh, always wired as well. So um, we want to stick with the wired connection at the moment. I have a strange, funny question, and this is really related. If I look at this Canon PTZ camera, the color of the camera is white. I guess it has a reason. Will you consider to do our white pedestal? Uh, maybe in the future. Uh, if we sell a lot of the blacks, maybe we can consider the white. <laughs> yeah. Good. Koichi-san, anything that I missed? Because we talked about it a little bit in the past, and I really I encourage you guys to look at our previous video from Japan. It, it, it has a lot of details over there. But other, other than that, is there anything else that you would like to, to, uh, to mention? Yes. Uh, Something a little small, but um, the stroke um, is uh, 400 millimeters or 16 inches. And the height, actually the height is uh, pretty important. It goes up to one, uh, 266 centimeters or 102 inches. So that's pretty high. So that's uh, one thing that is very special about this product as well. Yeah, I remember, but th that hasn't changed from the prototype. Yeah, that, that is not changed. And there's a lot of uh, design changes, but that's not in the specification, but it looks cooler. How about the pricing and availability now that it's, all, now that it's a final product? Right. Um, it depends on the market, but we, we think that it's, uh, it's going to be around $4,000 uh, in the street price. And uh, it's going to be available from uh, maybe May. Globally? Globally, yeah. Yes, globally in May. Great. May. Yeah. Yeah. Koichi-san, thank you very much. Always a pleasure talking to you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Guys, thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.
Thank you.